Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Blake from Northwinds Wilderness School. I hope you all had a good, whatever it is you celebrate this time of year. Um, there's something I want to talk to you about that's been sort of occupying my mind lately. To the point where it's been affecting every aspect of my life from Northwinds Wilderness School to my normal day job to my family life. And that is health. Uh, in the rewilding community, um, health gets talked about a lot. We talk about food, we talk about movement, we talk about vitamin community, we talk about the nutrients that come from nature or the health giving powers of nature. We talk about eating wild foods and making medicine from wild plants. But I had never really thought about my health in regards to, uh, rewilding until the last month or so really I to give you just a moment of background uh, in 2005 I weighed 198 pounds in 2013 I weighed 337 pounds um, this was the result of several decisions um, you know I quit smoking cigarettes a lot of people when they quit smoking cigarettes they end up gaining a little bit of weight um, I moved from uptown Minneapolis to the suburbs, so I sold my bicycle and bought a car. Um, I quit being a chef and became a bartender where I was less physically active and it was less hot. Um, plus I had ready access to beer and shots whenever I wanted them. And I just, I, I spent several years making really bad decisions which took me from a pretty healthy, pretty active person to a pretty overweight not very active person, but I never really thought about my health or my size or my appearance except when I tried to buy sunglasses or when someone else bought me clothes because they don't make sunglasses that fit my giant head and anytime someone else buys me clothes, they don't fit. But uh, recently I've just been doing a lot of thinking about my own health and about how rewilding can affect a person's health. And I think that the only way that rewilding can affect your health is for the better. If you're actually on a path of rewilding. Um, a little over a year ago, I started looking for a dietitian, And I, I went through a couple. I tried one. She tried to put me on the typical calorie restricted diet, which it's been proven time and time again, those don't work. Um, I tried a different one and she basically did the same thing, but used different words to describe it. And then I tried to work just with my doctor and he wanted to throw pills at me or talk about surgery and I'm not going to take pills or get surgery. That's dumb. Um, the My lack of good health are based on poor decision making. I feel like I should be able to repair that with good decision making. Uh, so finally I found, I met a woman named Marissa Reeder who owns a company called Back to Bacon. If you're interested, it's back, the number two, bacon.com, uh, who specializes in paleo and keto and primal dieting. Uh, and we talked about my wants, my desires, my lifestyle, my past, and she started slowly working me into a sort of keto paleo type of situation. And I went through the normal ebbs and flows that a person would normally go on when they diet. Uh, I started off really well, I lost a few pounds, then my birthday happened and all that just went off the rails. And then I spent several months doing really well for a few days, doing really bad for a few days, doing really well for a few days, doing really bad for a couple days. And what I started calling it was nutritional anarchy because it was, I was out of control, you know. One day my diet would be perfect, the next day I would eat a whole pizza and drink 12 beers. And it was just out of control. Uh, in July, I gave up drinking. That seems to have been the best driver that I've come across. 
Um, I'm not going to tell you that I'll never have another cocktail, but what I've given up is drinking on every weekend or on my days off of work or going out with friends or whatever. It's I'm sort of reserving it for special occasions or maybe not at all. Who knows? I didn't drink on Thanksgiving this year. Um, <clears throat> with that sort of box checked off, I started really diving into this keto paleo diet. And it took a few minutes. It's not something that I think you can just jump right into because there's some things that you have to learn. There's things that have sugar that you wouldn't think about. There's things that have carbs that you wouldn't think about. You know, if you read the label on cheese, it'll say zero carbs. But what that is is zero carbs for like a half ounce serving. If you eat three ounces of cheese, which I would say is closer to a normal serving, now you're talking about four carbs. So there was a steep learning curve. And the deeper I've gone into this, the more I've started to learn that it's not just about the diet, it's about the whole lifestyle, it's about everything. It's about fasting, when not to eat. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different fasting regimens, there's 16 and eight, 18 and six. There's the warrior diet where you eat one 2000 calorie meal a day. There's seven day fasts and 14 day fasts and 21 day fasts. The world record I think is 385 days. Um, so I've been playing with my diet, I've given up drinking, I've been playing with fasting. Then there's the movement aspect. So um, there's a biomechanist named Katie Bowman who is one of my heroes. And one of the things that she talks about is if you're exercising for one hour a day every day, what is it that you're doing with those other 23 hours? So rather than going to the gym for an hour in a day and running on a treadmill or doing push-ups or doing bench presses, how do you incorporate movement into your life? <laughs> um, simple changes like putting your dishes on the bottom shelf or your heavy pans on the top shelf or putting your water filter on the ground so you have to kneel down to get water or getting off the couch and sitting on the floor. Simple things to incorporate movement into your life. And there's also mindfulness. Um, we've talked about mindfulness before. Mindfulness is, in my personal life, my biggest campaign. It's the thing I work on the most. You know, I do gratitude practices, I do meditation, I do awareness training. These are all to improve my own mindfulness, my own sense of the present moment my own sense of myself and my relationship to the world around me. Um, there's also your connection to nature. Your connection, I'm sorry if you hear my daughter in the background, that's just gonna be a part of life. Your connection to nature has a measurable effect on your health. <coughs> um, it's been shown that walking barefoot has measurable uh, effect on your health. Getting exposure to sun has measurable effect on your health. Spending time in nature, just experiencing nature, has a measurable effect on your health. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, there's also this idea of vitamin community, which is the idea that people need community. We need our families, we need our neighbors, we need our friends. We need to have some social time in order to be a fully healthy, well-rounded person. And through diving into all this and fully encompassing all of this with my life, um, a couple of things have happened. I am now working on becoming a licensed nutritionist and a nutrition specialist. Um, I'm probably gonna end up going back to college to get a degree in nutrition. I'm also training to become a licensed personal trainer. And we are working on starting a nonprofit to teach these things um, to children and families. <laughs> Excuse me again. Um, what you're also going to see is moving forward, Northwinds Wilderness School is not going to give up anything we've done in the past. We're not going to stop teaching wilderness survival. We're not going to stop teaching primitive living skills. We're not going to stop teaching rewilding. But we're going to start teaching the wild version or the primal version of some of these health things. We're going to start talking about nutrition more often, about movement more often, and about the relationship between mindfulness, nature, community, and your overall health. Because in the rewilding community, if we don't have our health, what else matters? Um, also, I'm going to take you with me on this journey. I've lost 37 pounds so far. I've lost almost two pant sizes. My blood pressure is better. My blood levels are better. Everything that is happening in my life is better because I've made these changes. <clears throat> 
So moving forward, I think I'm regularly gonna do videos with updates on what's going on with my health, about my weight loss, about my blood levels, about my clothing sizes, about my movement, about the way I feel. Um, I'm also gonna start incorporating more videos onto this YouTube channel about <clears throat> maybe healthy cooking as it relates to nature and rewilding or healthy movement as it relates to nature and rewilding. Things that we can do to incorporate your health, the health of our entire community into this simple idea of rewilding, of reclaiming our natural lifestyle and reconnecting to nature. This is something that's very personal for me. It's very important for me. And I really hope that you'll all come with me on this ride. It's gonna be interesting and it's probably gonna get a little bumpy. Um, please let me know your experiences in the comments. I wanna know if you've struggled with weight loss or diabetes or hypertension or metabolic syndrome. And if you have found ways through a holistic lifestyle to solve those problems without medications. Or if you're a person who's in one of those situations and has not found a uh, solution yet, let us know, maybe we can do this together. I'd be happy to talk to you as I go through this. Um, as always, I wanna hear what everyone has to say. I wanna know your opinions on this. So thank you for watching. If you found any value in this video or if you think you might find value in where we're going with this, please find someone to share this video with. Thank you for watching. There's a car driving by. I appreciate you. I appreciate every second of your time. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you next time.